Uh, hey everybody, Austin uh, here from sunny southern Arizona, and it is May, and this is our 2013 Worship Catalyst update. We've got uh, a pretty good number of new folks joining the update this month, and so to all of you, I want to say uh, welcome. Uh, what we do uh, most months out of the year is we just talk a little bit more about some of the activity of Worship Catalyst and what God is doing uh, through this ministry and <clears throat> identifying, training, and discipling, and uh, coaching worship leaders and other creative artists for newer churches as they try to reach their communities for Jesus Christ. And so um, a lot of people on this video pray for us and, and give money to make Worship Catalyst a reality because everything that we do, we give away. And so um, thanks for joining us. And for everybody that's with us every month, thanks for being here as always. But uh, just want to give you a few highlights. You know, uh, we talk each year about this time about Zona Youth Camp, and that's one of the things that is uh, one of the highlights of our year. And uh, we're going to... As always, have a bunch of students, uh, middle school and high school students, out in Riverside, California, for a week in July. <clears throat> and part of that is uh, we do three things at that camp, and one of them is called the Worship Catalyst Experience, where we take 80 to 100 students that are singers or musicians or actors or technologists or whatever, and we uh, train them and coach them and, and uh, do some uh, spiritual development, and then put them in teams and help them to be better worship leaders so they can go back to their churches. Uh, and be worship leaders there. And so uh, we're very excited about that as always. And um, God has blessed us with a real true partner named Aaron Petrie, uh, who this year is going to be really kind of partnering with me as we lead that. And then ultimately he'll be taking over the Worship Catalyst experience in years to come. We also do all of the development of uh, the production work and uh, designing the services for the evenings and mornings and stuff like that. So we'll, of course, uh, be working on that as well out at Zona. So be praying for that. A couple of weeks ago, uh, a team of us actually went out to a, a conference called Catalyst West Coast in Southern California to talk to church leaders from the West mainly about what Worship Catalyst might look like in their venue if they were to become a hub. You know, we already have hubs across the country that do what we do here in Southern Arizona. They take our platform and our processes and, and, and do that to help other churches around them, newer churches. So we are in conversation with five churches right now that are considering, five leaders considering being uh, Worship Catalyst hubs in their different areas across the country in addition to the ones that we already have. So be in prayer about that. And another thing is we have a couple of conversations with more na national platforms uh, with uh, denominations and church planning groups and stuff that, that really could, over time, over the next year or two, become one of those things where it really becomes something where we've got to think strategically how we restructure the way that we do things uh, with us because God is just really starting to expand more and more what it is that he's called us to do. And so be in prayer about that because, you know, there's only so much stuff that I can do and some other people that we have on our team can do. So we've got to figure out how to, to do that better. So thanks for being in prayer about that with us. This is a very critical time uh, in, in the ministry's life. Um, one last thing I wanted to say is one of the churches that we're talking to, performances, before I do, eight down, uh, I, go, I want to show you a picture of Finley uh, doing a great job with Oz. Christian Youth Theater here in Tucson. And so. I thought you'd want to see uh, what she looks like there as a winky. And so, anyway, if you've ever seen it, you'll know what a winky is. So, uh, the last thing I want to tell you is just to be looking out for, we'll have another update in about three weeks that's going to come out, and it's going to be uh, me interviewing a couple of uh, people that we've been pouring into in Georgia. And they are at a church that's a, a young church that's uh, getting their footing and seeing how they can reach out as well uh, in their community and help some other folks. But we've been putting some time and energy and effort into their uh, experience. And so I thought you'd want to meet them and see kind of some of the results of uh, what we've been able to do. So anyway, that's it. I uh, just wanted to share a couple of highlights with you on where we are. And uh, as always, we just want to say thank you. God bless you. Thanks for being a part of Worship Catalyst. We couldn't do it without you, of course. So uh, don't be a stranger. We'll talk to you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.